Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Well, I'm Hans Feil, CEO of Etulipa, a small company in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. We have a unique technology, reflective display technology, with br bright reflective colors, video speed, and a very low power consumption. And also we have a wide temperature range from minus 30 to plus 65 degrees Celsius. So really good for outdoor displays. And you see here an example of a, a, a tile, or like the wetting display tile with 10 millimeter pixels. So very good for outdoor displays. Uh, so you good for having a strong text by the bus station and everything? Also, in fact, already three years, uh, three years ago, we have a one display, a black and white display in a uh, New York bus stop display. It runs for, for, well, many winters and many summers in New York. But right now we have colors, bright colors. And these are the most bright reflective colors that you will see here in the show. Nice. And what do I see here? Is it just a bunch of them? That's a bunch of them, six in fact, making total a panel. And in Eindhoven, we have a display with eight of these panels running for a year right now with just on solar, on solar power. Solar power? Yeah. So it's but it's not going to be 24 hours. It's, uh, yeah, well, it's 24 seven in fact. Although, of course, in the dark, you won't see it, but we have a little backlight built in. So if necessary, you have a front light? Uh, we don't have a front light, it's a backlight inside. So it works with backlight and the uh, sun, sun yeah, front ex light. Exactly. So in, in when it's really getting dark, you're switching switching on the backlight. So it glows up really nicely. But as soon as the uh, sun goes up, then the, you can switch off the backlight. It's, it's just bright enough. All right. And it's very low power. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, are you uh, a spin-off of some of the other electro wetting projects that come out of, uh, was it Philips or yeah, well, where did they come I, from uh, fact, originally, I, these you know, Philips, ideas? Uh, 20 years ago, there was a first paper of Rob Hayes and uh, Jon Feinstein in Nature that made many uh, display companies trying electro wetting displays. And, uh, but it was not so easy. And then we, we co-founded, in fact, I'm, we, I'm co-founder of LiquiVista as well. In 2006, we spun off from Philips, Philips Electronics, and myself and some other gentlemen, we created another company, it's called MayaTech, using the same technology for rear view mirrors. Turned out to be that was not a very good application, so 10 years ago, we pivoted to outdoor displays, and that's really in the sweet spot of this technology. And the reason for that is that we're using subtractive colors, cyan, magenta, yellow. So what you see here is three layers, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and a white reflector. And we can switch individually the cyan, magenta, and yellow pixels. So in fact, we can create all the colors of the rainbow here. And I'm not sure if you can get it on the camera quite well, but you really have to see it with your own eyes and preferably outdoor in the sun. That's, that's nicest. Nice. Uh, so you have tulips right here. Yeah, certainly. And uh, a tulipa. A tulip. Well, it's Dutch, and you know, in Holland we have tulips. And yeah. tulips, as you see there, they're colorful. So therefore, and tulipa this is the Latin for tulip. And e is like e-reader, and, and e-paper. So we we end up with a tulipa as the name of the company. And if people uh, all over the world use this kind of display, yeah. uh, there will be more tulips because we will not destroy the planet with uh, using too much energy. Oh, certainly. Uh, that's also an option. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. I mean, it's tens of times uh, uh, less, well, more power efficient as LED displays, outdoor LED displays. So it's really a world of difference. And you see more and more uh, companies wanted to have, want to have uh, low power displays not only for, well, saving costs, but also, well, saving the planet. Is there a way that this could be matte, or is it glossy, or is there any reflection? Uh, well, whatever, whatever you like. This is, this is gloss, uh, glossy. You see that there's no, no coating on the front side, so there's a 4% uh, 
specular reflection on this surface. But you can add an anti-refractive layer or a matte layer. Uh, I prefer this one, and the best is an anti-reflective layer, so that you don't even have this reflection of the front surface. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, thank so you. what's what, uh, what's next for you to get to millions and millions of devices? Uh, well, it's it's base it's basically scaling up. It's uh, finding the the well the, the best method for uh, for creating this place and tuning the equipment such that larger quantities, larger volumes of this displays can be made. And the next step will be that we're using four times as big pieces of glass and TFT's uh, backplane such that we can make pixels 2.5 millimeter. So that's really the next phase. And, and for the rest we are, well, we need a little bit more funds to, to accelerate the, uh, the production. What's the, the size now? 10 millimeter. 10, so you want to get down to? 2.5. So that means, uh, what's the resolution now for this one? Well, we, we don't talk about resolution. It's like with outdoor display, you talk about pixel pitch. P10 yeah. is 10 millimeter pixels. Yeah. We go to P2.5 is two, two and a half millimeter pixels. And will the performance be as good when you go to lower? C certainly, there's no problem. We, we already created some prototypes uh, showing that 2.5 millimeter pixels work well. And that's certainly not no problem. You get the same color brightness, the same speed, everything's the same. Nice. All right. How about flexible displays? Well, uh, we first like to, to stay on glass, but we also are, are thinking and in fact in the lab working on uh, different architecture that make it possible to use flexible substrates. If, if we manage to do so, we really can go to foils, TFTs on foils, mm -hmm. and then make the whole thing flexible. So there's no, no physical limit uh, that that, uh, would, that that say would prevent us from going to flexible. And uh, if you go outside, I mean, it would be the best demo. If we, we went outside, then it's more impressive, right? Oh, certainly. So at, at 12.30 every day, we take this panel outside and, and show it to the people who want to see it there. Nice. We, so everybody, please come to, to the booth of uh, the iZone or a Tulipa tomorrow or uh, on Thursday on 12.30. And Duke and myself walk out, out outdoor and show the panel outside. Because uh, e-paper is all about bringing people out of it. Like everybody's working indoors with these uh, lights and stuff. It's better to go outside, get oh, in nature. Certainly. This yeah. is about being out in nature. Exactly. So it's a little bit strange to show outdoor displays indoor. But the, yeah, the eye zone is of course indoor. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool and nice okay so thanks a lot well thank you very much for uh, the opportunity and we look forward to the uh, your youtube channel all right thanks. thank you